Yo, what's up? Chicanos, how's it going? This video is about what do you think Native Americans come from, us as being indigenous people of this continent? Are we a part of the 12 tribes of Judah, Hebrew Israelites, the black Hebrew Israelites? Are, are, are we related to the Egyptians? The Egyptian says they were children of the sun. Mashika tribe and other tribes says they are children of the sun. So let's start off on the religion aspect and even how we crossed over the so-called Barian Sea, if I'm saying it right, from Russia to Alaska, and we'll talk about the other ideas. So I'm going to even pull up some stuff on the screen. Bear with me. This will be a little second video. So uh, let's talk about the black Hebrew Israelites. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with it, but... So they believe that we are part of the 12 tribes of Judah, the Native American people, and that we, the Mexicans, are Issachar, and the Native American United States are called Gad, and that, you know, over the time, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with religion, or ever watched this, or possibly believe in it, but it's they, after, you know, they believe after the tribes were separated, the 12 tribes, yeah, the Native Americans, they were granted this part of the world, this part of the two continents. And uh, obviously they cross with, if everyone says, you know, that they cross, even the scientific point of view says they cross from Russia to Alaska because the ocean was lower under from the where they were able to cross from land to land. So... Now let me read you this. I got a Bible, and there's a these verses that they say. It's Genesis 49:14, 14, uh, verse 14. Issachar is a raw bone donkey lying down between two saddlebags. When he sees how good is his resting place and how pleasant he is his land. He will bend his shoulder to the burden and submit to forced labor. So meaning, uh, when he sees how good is his land, is his resting place, and how his pleasant is his land. So I don't, I forgot, I don't know if that's meaning because it is his land, our land. They did break it down. We're seeing our own land, how good they made it. Because Mexicans are the raw bone of the United States. I, I'm not too sure. I'm not wording it right. I'm not going to whoop on that. But the way they say it, we are Issachar, who is the raw bone of the United States. Us on our own land, seeing how pleasant it is. Like, ooh, we're willing to break our back on our own land. You know, misguided. You guys know, basically, understand on how our people are. Come and work here. And so what they say for uh, <clears throat> the United States native Gad, verse 19, will be attacked by a band of riders, but he will attack them at their heels. So there's meaning saying that, you know, the riders are the Europeans that are attacking them, the natives on their land. I I'm not breaking it down too well, probably as good as if you guys were to go watch their videos and see them break it down if you're interested so I or unless you guys know what I'm talking about already so on those point of view there I they captured my attention I, I grew up somewhat around you know the Christian re religion and new basic understandings but never you know I watched a lot of their videos and got the understanding they broke it down I pulled out the Bible and I was following verses, following what they were saying. There's a, uh, there's one called the Awaken Israel, Awaken Israelites. Look up their channel. That's the one I happen to find and like, watching a lot of groups, different groups, but they're all pretty good. That was just one. Uh, I'll say you should look up Awaken Israelites. They're a New York crew. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> look into that. Uh, so, and then, you know, it's just interesting, you know, on the religion aspect, so that on them believing that we are the same people as them. So they believe that 
you know, they're, the black Hebrew Israelites believe that they're the real Jews and they're separate nation from the black Africans. It's not about race, it's about nation. And we are a part of that nation, Mexican, Native Americans, of the true uh, Judah, Judaism, nation, Israelites. We're the, we're, we're, we're the true Israelites ourselves. And we're in the nation with them. It's not about them being African because they're a separate nation. It's not about race. And uh, the white man who is Esau and all the like real Indians and Asians, they're the Edomites. They're not a part of the nation. We're the chosen people, basically. So we're a part of the chosen people of religion, as they put it, us Mexican. Some of the, who knows, maybe separate tribes still... Uh, and I got a whole other thing on that, like, in, you know, to me, um, what I think, but they believe that, and it's interesting, though, it's pretty interesting, I look into that, and then there's also, so some of you guys know that the Egyptians say that they're children of the sun, and so does the Mexica and various other tribes relate to the sun, being children of the sun, and if you believe that the Egyptians came across uh, came across the Atlantic Sea and taught the Amics how to build a uh, civilization. Uh, but this is, let me just, oh, this was something real quick that I found a 250 million years old footprint that's in New Mexico. This is what it looks like. It's on the wall. It's dated 290 this was found in 1987 uh, just to show I, it's on here you guys should look it up look into that it's really short and it's true like no one can debate that it's not because it's really this is I guess in the wall it's dated 290 50 to 290 to 250 million years old they dated back no one could debate that it's fake like they got people puzzled on it uh, pretty interesting here in North America, New Mexico. Uh, here's the Amic heads. So this is they say that the Amics we were a we weren't a civilization still indigenous people of this continent, and people believe that the Egyptians came and taught civilization here, and they built these images after them in honor that these look like black faces because of big nose big lips some of them got braids uh, I mean it's interesting I don't even know what to believe myself to tell you the truth I mean I'm pretty puzzled on it oops uh, to tell you the truth I'm pretty not sure what to believe myself Uh, I don't know what you guys let me know what you guys believe do you believe that everyone just came across the uh, from Russia down or do you believe that uh, that we came across C to people get this trying to this is a something that I just recently seen on the Fourteen thousand years old village was found on Triquit Islands. I don't know how to say that. Uh, northwest of Veronica, Canada. It says the discovery is three times older than the Egyptian pyramid. So the Egypt, it's fourteen thousand years older than the Egyptian pyramids. 
and the Egyptian pyramids date back uh, let me see if I can find the oldest pyramid in Egypt dates back 2668 years if that's correct so this village dates back 14,000 so that's 10,000 years older this and the oldest village in South America dates back to four or five hundred years older than Egypt or about the same as Egypt bear with me dad bear with me thank you spit is far from civilization, but scientists say artifacts exhumed here paint a picture of how our civilization began. And what this is doing is just changing our idea of the way in which our North America was first people. What was found here is incredible. Tools for lighting fires, fish hooks and spears, all dating back 14,000 years. The discovery leading experts to believe a large human migration may have occurred on BC's unfrozen coastline. Wow. So what do you believe? Do you believe that everyone just came across from Russia to Alaska down and filled the continents, the two continents up? Or there's also scientists, archaeologists, historians, etc., that believe that people traveled from Africa or of already Asia the, this way before by sea, especially from Africa, the east coast of it, down like this. But people, especially with that new finding, that video that I just showed you, if it was the village was found west, northwest, right here. So that would show that if this is the oldest village, then I guess, I don't know, then that's how we possibly did come over here. Everybody, but the, it's older than any village then possibly found here in South America. Because the oldest village for South America dates back 3200 BC 200 years before Kemet which is known as Egypt so I mean uh, let me see something right real quick bear with me South America, Peru, oldest European found city in Peru. Uh, what is the oldest city in North America? Uh, that doesn't make sense. No, this is giving me oldest town.
So what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. Do you believe that everybody, let me see, right? It is believed that the first human population of South America either arrived from Asia into North America, the Berlin Land Bridge, and migrated southwards. The earliest gen and earliest settler archaeologist evidence of the human habitation in South America 14,000 years ago, the Monte Verde site in southern Chile. The descendants of these first inhabitants would become the indigenous population of South America. But that doesn't make sense in a way, like if that village is that I just seen in is fourteen or uh, fourteen thousand years old. I mean does it take that long for people to travel? I mean from it wouldn't if the if they fourteen thousand years ago were crossing then I mean 14, they made it all in one they couldn't have made it that fast in South America but what was the other one 15,000 so 1,000 years for from them to travel from Canada where that village was at 15,000 so it took them 1,000 years to travel to Monteverde Chile then and if I'm correct if you guys understand what I'm saying about that uh, see 14,000 years old village found in Canada it, it doesn't make sense but then the 14,000 years old village found in South America see cause I just actually noticed that I was I've been trying to read about this stuff so I mean it's confusing how is it all 14,000 years for North and South America they landed so I mean they're confused themselves I wouldn't be surprised if other people did come to South America also and came up but why couldn't is there I also believe that you know Pangea when Pangea broke up that there could have still been people on this on these two land masses why not why isn't that possible just be uh, that's how much I believe also so I mean why why can't that be true I mean every anything could be possible it's just they can they remember they still consider this the new world they they still consider this since when Columbus founded it they just illusion us that were here before Columbus that's why they don't do too much. They always focus on Egypt, the Mediterranean, the other, the so-called old world. But how is this the new world, old world? It, they were here together. They were Pangea. They were one whole. They were obviously both as old as each other in a way. So why? So you got to remember that they're thinking, they're overthinking. They're not thinking, focusing here because they consider this the new world that it wasn't possible for the old civilizations to be on this part of the western hemisphere from what I was reading because that this the lady is the one who found a civilization in Chile that was 500 years older than Kemet Egypt so I mean what do you guys believe do you guys believe in religion that we are part of the 12, 12 tribes of Huda, uh, Judah have any of you guys heard of it? Because it captured my attention. I'm not going to lie. It's interesting. Or do you guys not... Have you guys ever heard of it? Look into it. If you're not... If you're into religion, look into that point of view. Uh, so, or if you are, you are a part of it and you watch this, let me know. If Maybe you do believe that the Egyptians uh, taught the Amics and we are in a relation of being the children of the sun. Uh, 
because I know that the Mashika movement don't believe that they were taught by Egyptians, but I never seen them break a video down on what they believe in. On um, you know who they believe like you know we could have uh, all we, it was just natural in people to build civilizations, so, and they had it within them, and. It, uh, people, you know, we had people back in the days and had people with big lips and big noses and for the religion point of view also, you know, are uh, n not even a religion, they say, you know, people still have when the people cross, they still had that culture in them to build civilizations from being on the other part of the world of Hebrew Israelites or Egyptians because they were already building and they were able to carry that on and grow it here on this part of the world or they were or you know people were traveling by sea which i don't see how is that not possible so you i mean what do you guys think what do you guys believe let me know leave your comments give this a like show some love give it a like i want to definitely hear your comments on that tell me if you ever heard about it so i mean good looking chicanos stay up stay smart get your thoughts straight and uh, you know be cool because that's all I could do just stay positive and productive keep that uh, positive energy and aura at all times no negativity